Well, thanks for watching the news at 530. Colette Boyd joins me now with our top story at 6. That's right. Hi, David. It's been a big year for Governor Snyder. He talks one on one with our own Andrew Keller. TV 5 News at 6 starts right now. Live and local with coverage you can count on. This is WNEM TV 5 News at 6. The biggest highlight would be the economic growth of Michigan. Pretty self-explanatory about what the governor sees as his number one achievement heading into the new year. Governor Snyder has had a lot on his plate this year. Now, probably the biggest issue was resolved only last month. That was the deal to fix our crumbling roads. But lawmakers are still ironing out a new energy policy, ways to reform the criminal justice system, and Flint's water problems are still on Lansing's radar. Andrew Keller talked one-on-one -on -one with Mr. Snyder. He joins us live in Flint with more on that. Drew. Yeah, David and Colette, uh, the governor says that there is a lot to be done, a lot on his plate as we move forward. But he did call this year uh, full of accomplishments, and he says it's full steam ahead moving into 2016. Now, I got a chance to sit down with the governor uh, this afternoon to get his thoughts on the past year. He says he's most satisfied with Michigan's economic growth. He pointed to the state's unemployment numbers and says fewer people are without a job. This year closes out with the unemployment rate at 5.1%. Now, he says from the legislature, Legislative side, he told me that he's glad he's finally able to ink the deal to fix our roads. And now road funding grabbed headlines in the news all year long. And last month, an agreement to raise the gas tax will eventually put $1.2 billion toward roads. Now he says that bringing, job back, bringing jobs back continues to be his goal going into next year. What I would say is there's still more work to be done. We still have people looking for opportunities. So with all the great success, I'm staying on the gas to say, how do we do more really good things to continue the path we've been on, particularly with like career tech education, the skilled trades. But as many in this area know, particularly in Flint, there are some serious concerns about how the state handled the Flint water crisis. And now some families in Flint filed a lawsuit against Snyder and other state leaders claiming violations under the Safe Drinking Water Act. Now I asked him the tough questions regarding this very topic and several other local topics, local interest topics. And of course, I will have more on this one-on-one -on -one interview coming up tonight, starting at 10 and 11. For now, live and local in Genesee County. I'm Andrew Keller, WNEM TV5. Thank you, Andrew, for that. And we would like to hear from you about Governor Snyder. How do you think he's doing as governor? Post your comments on our Facebook page, and we may read some of them tonight at 11. And as you heard Andrew say, we have the full interview with the governor tonight at 11. Tune in to see how he answers our tough questions. Well, if you thought today felt a little wintry, just wait till the temps drop tonight as you look live over Saginaw and Bay City right now. Chief Meteorologist Brian Bachman is here with your forecast. Hi, Brian. Hi there, Colette. Big change in just 24 hours. We did see the temps, of course, decline from where we started the week with those record-breaking 60s. It's been a couple of days in the 40s for us. Of course, that's still well above average. Today, though, basically all bets were off. We're right back into basically normal December territory with temperatures hovering mostly in the 30s. You combine that with those winds that have been out there, though, it adds a little bit of bite to the air, of course. And though we have remained largely snow free around the area today, we have seen a couple of flurries that though going to change. You can see here on the first one five sky tracker tonight, just mainly a pretty thick deck of stratus clouds hanging in there. But as the winds kind of orient themselves more into the west tonight and pick up just a little bit, you can see that is leading to some scattered pockets of snow showers across parts of Wisconsin and up into the uh, Arrowhead area of Minnesota tonight. That whole trend will gradually progress eastward. So Let's just say if it's not festive enough for you, I think tomorrow probably going to suit your fancy even later on tonight a little bit more. 35 is the current air temperature in Flint, 32 in Saginaw, but you combine those winds into the equation and take a look what the windshield values wind up at. You can knock almost 10 degrees off of that uh, real uh, air temperature tonight with the uh, wind chill making it feel much closer to the low and middle 20s. Same holds true for areas like Bay City and Cairo tonight, both in the low 30s as far as air temps, but the wind chill values way down to about 23 and 24 respectively. So for tonight, it's biting wind and just a few flakes out there. We'll see the uh, Flurries pick up as the night goes on. Lows will be down mostly in the low to middle 20s, but the uh, wind chill values likely to head a little bit closer to the teens. And as for the uh, next couple of days, the cold weather not going to be sticking around all that long. We'll show you just how long, though, coming up in your full seven day forecast. Brian, thank you. This just in the chairman of the Genesee County Board is telling the mayor of Flint, work with me on your state of emergency declaration. Jamie Curtis delivered a letter to Karen Weaver. She issued the declaration this week over the city's ongoing water problems, but Curtis complained she has not consulted him. 
His letter explains the procedures Weaver needs to follow to get the declaration to the state and the federal government. It also states he supports the city's efforts. A suspect faces several felony charges in a drive-by shooting this week that injured a man. 37-year-old Christopher Henderson is accused of assault with intent to murder and other charges. The shooting happened early Monday morning near Saginaw and Pearson Streets in Flint. The holiday season means more online gift buying and opportunities for thieves to steal the items right off your porch. The postmaster for Saginaw says her agency is taking extra precautions, including having more eyes in the streets. We have postal inspectors that are in unmarked vehicles that are driving the, the neighborhoods right now, confirming the safety of the packages and the safety of our carriers. Postmaster Downing urges everyone to sign up for email and text alerts so they know when a package will arrive. And new tonight, a group of men in mid-Michigan just made names for themselves, bowling their way into the national record book with a combined 899. James Felton has more about this three of a kind. Uh, it was an unbelievable feeling. We were, uh, we weren't really thinking about it too much. It just kind of all fell into place. This was the moment a national record was set right here in mid-Michigan. Three bowlers teaming up for a score one pin shy of perfection. Two 300s and a 299. 899 total, breaking the old record of 897. It all happened on lanes five and six at Candlelight Lanes in Bridgeport. Bobby Sanch, a bowler for Saginaw Valley State University, is on the history-making team. We got to the ninth frame and we kind of looked at each other and we were like, all right, we got something going. Let's try not to mess it up. And the owner of the facility says the atmosphere in here when that record was set was simply amazing. It was just fantastic. I mean, the excitement was just great. I mean, really, they were really pumped up. Everybody in the center was pumped up. Bob Klein is the owner at Candlelight. He tells us the team is part of the three-man Tuesday night tavern league. Klein says the night of Tuesday, December 15th, 2015, will be one that he never forgets. It's a once-in-a-lifetime deal. You'll, I, I don't ever see you seeing it again. I mean, to it. I mean, I can't see it getting any better. It's just awesome. I mean, I think it's top notch. As for Sanch, his three-man team will be back in action next Tuesday. Proud to be part of a new bowling standard set right here in our backyard. It was just really exciting to get to experience that. It was uh, something we'll probably never be able to do again, but it was cool. Reporting in Saginaw County, James Felton, WNEM, TV5. Congrats to all of them. Local author and war hero Travis Mills is coming to mid-Michigan. Mills will be signing copies of his new book, Tough As They Come. It details his recovery from the war injury that cost him his limbs. Mills will be at the Barnes & Noble in Saginaw Township tomorrow night at 6.30. Those words, music to the ears of fans of the MSU football team, but one local fan makes sure people have a way to sink their teeth into the victory. That's right, he owns a business that is sweet on his beloved Spartans. Ronnie Duncan talks with this MSU super fan. Boy, we love it. Everything, anything that's green, we say, go green apple, go green. Yeah, we love it. To say that Dave Durant is a super fan is an understatement. Be it his smile or his over-the-top demeanor, it's infectious. Even customers get into the act. Taking my beet Bama cake. It's on its way. It's a special delivery. Special Spartan friends. See you guys. Go green. Yes, that's a Michigan State ice cream cake. The owner of Uncle Ray's Dairyland in Fenton never puts a chill on the conversation when he's talking about his beloved Spartans. And now that it's Alabama and they're up next, he's a little leery. Can never take a playoff. The Spartans are ready for the big, big dogs. We played them back in 2010 and they gave us a whooping. But Spartans are coming this time. They don't fear anybody. Sounds like Dave's a little confident, but everywhere you look, you can find Michigan State memorabilia. And even on his license tag, it states how he feels about the Spartans. You know, when you talk about green nuts and the uh, ice cream treat, and then when you see how pumped he is about Michigan State, oh, are these the nuts or is he the nut? <laughs> I think it's both. <laughs> <laughs> how great is it to be a Spartan fan this year, Grace? Wow. So when you speak of Uncle Ray's Dairyland, I'm going to tell you right now, nothing puts a smile on his face like a Michigan State victory and, of course, a little ice cream. In Fenton, Ronnie Duncan, WNEM TV 5. I love his enthusiasm. Oh, how sweet he is. <laughs> yes. Wow. It looks delicious, didn't it? Yeah, Almost it a treat.
Well, a big New Year's Eve party planned, and you're invited. That's right. The party is only the start of something big for a local community. When and where you can get your tickets. And a million-dollar winner sold right here in mid-Michigan. Do you hold the ticket that could change your life? And people, there they are gathering for the opening of the new Star Wars film. We will take you to the crowds. You are watching TV5 News at 6, serving Beaver Township, Saginaw, and Midland. In your hometown, too. It's coverage you can count on.